presented by that time I got reincarnated in the same world as an anime podcaster, this is Shonen Jumping the Gun! The show where we set our sights on the first chapter of a manga and decide if it's a misfire or a bullseye. Let's see how many rounds are in this magazine. On today's episode, Shadow Eliminators. Welcome, everybody. It is I, your shadow hunting hostess with the mostest, karate chopping ghostess, Kermit the Grog, with my stalwart by the books buddy, Isekai Sensei Sama Brad. Brad, how are you doing? There's a darkness deep in my heart. Darkness, the shadow in our hearts, Sora. This burning power within me calls out into the darkness. Into kingdom hearts, Brad? <laughs> so if you can tell, we are covering Shadow Eliminators, a, a recently added new series in Shonen Jump. Uh, it just started, uh, I believe, at this time. The first chapter at time of recording... I guess it wouldn't change. The first chapter is always when it happens. <clears throat> Dropped December 3rd, 2023. So at time of recording, just about a month. Yeah. Very recent. Indeed. Time for my patented Kermit speedrun summary of chapter one of Shadow Eliminators. Open on contemplating both the existence of light and shadow. Title card. Public Morals Committee Vice Chairman Yayoi Azakaze is gatekeeping in the morning to keep out those who don't follow the rules of being to school on time. Literally gatekeeping, not mm. like the conceptual. I mean, he's conceptually Both. gatekeeping, but he's literally <laughs> keeping the gate of the school. I just want to be clear about that. Even though he's able to keep out one student who is seconds late, another student that he's never seen before is able to circumvent the high security gate by vaulting over it. It turns out that this unknown student is Aoba Kurimori, Kurimori a new transfer student who also happens to be in Asakaze's class. Azakaze is incensed by Kurimori's lackadaisical attitude, but comes to find that there seem to be good reasons for all the possible rule-breaking Kurimori seems to be doing. Azakaze follows Kurimori throughout the day in order to catch him breaking rules without good reason, only to find that Kurimori is just a really helpful guy, and all his rule-breaking is to help others. One of the good deeds is getting their teacher's purse out of a tree, which Azakaze suspects was there because some girls were picking on the teacher. She teacher? I always thought that she was a school, uh, uh, one of the other... Um... That was a teacher. They specifically say sensei. Oh, I just assume that meant upperclassmen. F Fuyoya sensei? Do you, not, do you not call upperclassmen sensei? It, no, that's senpai. Senpai. Ooh, you're right. I mixed them up. That's what I did. Kareem Mori it's, says it's some... It's in my name. It's in your name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah True. Kurimori says some fancy stuff that doesn't make sense unless there's some mystical stuff going on, but luckily there is. Kurimori runs away with Azakaze, following and trying to find him, but Azakaze walks into a classroom that has actually been turned into an otherworldly place called a hollow. Even though there is a barrier set up that should keep normal people out. This is so Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Brad, what's your nobody name? Do you know what I mean when I ask that? No, I never played Kingdom Hearts. Okay, your nobody name is an anagram of your name, but there's an X in it because you're very edgy. Oh. Ixakai Sensei. <laughs> this is going to do Brad, but I like that too. <laughs> I think at one point I did figure out my my um, my um nobody name with Kermit. It's like Ermex. Mm. or something like that isn't that a mortal Kombat character that's ermac <laughs> which is arrow macro which is why people thought he was real but it was just programming jargon who's this hello world guy <laughs> anyway uh azakaze finds kurimori inside being caught up with some tentacle things called threads coming out of a girl who is very depressed i believe she's depressed about art she can't draw just like everybody else Kurimori's grandmother shows up to give him what looks like a baby's toy, but is actually some kind of tool to wrap up the tentacles before they can turn the girl into something worse. Dodge that bullet. Azakaze is there so we can get exposition about what is going on. And once the hollow closes because the threads were sealed, I hate all these keywords, <laughs> he collapses so we can go to the next location. 
They end up at the grandmother's shop where we get a bit more exposition about how the magical stuff going on is because of the shadows people cast over their hearts. Sora, Kingdom Hearts, which is a fancy way to say they're sad or upset and don't deal with those emotions in a healthy way. I guess this is also a persona thing, but without all the extra jargon. Oh, yeah. Azakaze says that all this doesn't have anything to do with him, except he has a flashback uh, to his grandfather, who is a police officer. And we learn that Azakaze has his strong sense of justice, but not justice because of his grandfather. I believe his grandfather also just says, like, I'm a workaholic and I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Just quit being weird, grandson. <laughs> then he meets one of the girls that was messing with the teacher earlier, and she is scared. She and the other girl went to apologize to the teacher, but they felt something scary. Azakaze is going to try and help the other girl who is still there and finds out the teacher is choking the girl and seems to have been taken over by some kind of demon. The darkness, Sora. <laughs> the darkness in her heart. Azakaze is going to try and protect the girl, but he's just a normal kid and gets wrecked really fast. The demon and Azakaze have an argument about justice, and then Kurimori shows up to save the day. Kurimori explains that the demon is called the Kasane and is what happens when the threads aren't sealed. Kingdom Hearts, Sora. <clears throat> You're nobody. You're the third one that I forgot that's in that one DS game. Then Kurimori gets super edgy and brings out some kind of ghost or something that turns into a sword, which allows him to kill the Kasane without hurting the teacher. This part looks pretty cool and gives us a hint that there is some kind of mysterious past to Kurimori that we'll learn about later. Also, he literally says, I've got a weird past and I can't talk about it. <laughs> he literally says that in the beginning. The next day in school, Korimori is making a poster and shows Azakaze that it's an ad for their new business, Shadow Eliminator's Title Drop. <laughs> And that was chapter one of Shadow Eliminators. Wow, that was a lot of jargon. You like my summary? I liked your summary, Brad. Brad, I gotta tell everybody Brad fell in the summary. Literally just did not have the time or the mental fortitude and juice left. And I tagged in my buddy and went, can you write this summary? And he said, <laughs> yes, because he's a consummate professional. Brad, what do you think of this manga? Well, <laughs> it, first of all, this is like... The quintessential, uh, and I'm probably saying this wrong, Ben's not here, Chinyobi, like, the, it's middle schooler syndrome, except they're high schoolers, and also it's a manga and serious. It's so ridiculous. Uh, I believe Ben's favorite phrase is, it's going to fall off its own edge. <laughs> That's pretty apt. And it's just... It hits every single beat of that, like, deep power, dark past, something mysterious going on. It's got but all no of that stuff going on. Yeah. It is it is it is also, on top of all this, because of what it is, it is also trend afterbirth. Yeah. Because we are, we are finally getting out of teens doing supernatural stuff with ghosts. Or not. <laughs> well, no, sometimes... Between this and New Age Exorcist, well, New maybe Exorcist we're going to keep it going. for a while. I mean, this was new, but this feels like the... I'm hoping the last hurrahs of it as we move into either just new stuff in general or the Hitman Super Spy era, which, like, I'm fine with. I like that yeah. a lot more than a bunch of these teen spooky things. Now, saying that, there's nothing here that's, like offensively bad no i wish there was totally wrong and ridiculous and it's like it's just very standard it's laughably bland it's i mean i already joked about it it's got a bunch of jargon words right out of the gate which yeah. you can't do unless you have enough strong structure and it just doesn't it's just thing 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 trope 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 but it's not doing anything with them like i wish it was worse because it would be more interesting and this is doing, they, they seem to all be doing this now, where they shove way too much stuff into the first chapter. And I get the first chapter is like 50 or 60 pages, but like slow the hell down and give people something to bite into and be like, I wonder what's going to happen next. They could have spent the whole time giving you hints that there was something weird about this new kid at school. He's wearing earrings. He got. He has what looks like a tattoo, but he says it's not a tattoo. He says it's a tattoo. I can't talk to you about my tattoo and my earrings. He, again, it's like no. He, I have a... he specifically says it's not a tattoo. Oh, he specifically yeah. says it's not a tattoo. It's. I guess it's a brand or something. But like, there's there's enough there that if they then just showed him doing a couple good deeds and maybe set up like those girls, something was going to happen there, and then like right near the end, do the 
the hollow thing with the threads. They left more. Save, they left more mystery because they had yeah. to, like they did not need to explain everything that happened. If we right. could have just stuck more with our main character, who's the 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 goody two shoes guy, and him being confused and us being confused with him without having to go like, here's all what's. That's why I keep going into goofy voice from Kingdom yeah. Hearts. Here's what's going on with the heartless Sora, and it's like there's you don't need that all at once. There's there's like three chapters here. And they stuck them all into the the first chapter. There's and no mystery. There's no build. I th- and I feel like so many series are doing this now because they're like, we have to get every th- all of our ideas out all at once because otherwise people won't get hooked and then we'll get canceled. But it's like, if you slow roll stuff, people will latch onto that because well, you, they want to know what's happening. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have to do something interesting enough to warrant the latching. But yeah, yeah. If you just try to shove, here's my entire floor pitch. It's not going to work. Right. It's It feels cheating to bring up One Piece for things, but it's like, do you know how long it takes for One Piece to start kicking into the lore that it is super known for now? It takes ages. Yeah. You but know, they should really bring me on to do consulting for these people. Yes, this <laughs> random American over to this <laughs> Japanese company making magazines for teens. But all of that said, it's not even it's not even as self serving as New Age Exorcist. No. At least at the very least, that has the power fantasy of being a teen boy, being super powerful. Like there's no self insert here. Right. The I mean, I don't like the self insert, but at least with that one, I can go. Hey, look at here is a fantasy. Right. Here is a cute girl that's into the same things you are, and, and also gets to be your guide for having superpowers. That frankly, sounds great. I like. Context. I like a lack of a self insert. I like to read stories that don't have a self insert because I. I mean, I'm a grown man, and and that's probably the difference here. But like, yeah. I'm not reading a story because I want that self insert. I want to explore a world, explore a mystery, explore characters, explore character interaction, like those kind of things. Yeah. I don't want a blank slate for me to go. If I was here, this is what I Same. would be doing. It's why I have a, a giant axe to grind with protagoons. I give this credit because I like the like different kinds of justice making the duo. Yeah, but just they were so just. Here's my ca-. like they were so clearly sta- they weren't people. They were just this is the thing that they were about. Right. And and that I, what this comes down to is that it's not bad. It's just not good. It's bland. Yeah. It's not good blandness, the, which is worse. I, I almost feel like bland isn't the right word because there's interesting things here. It just doesn't. It's like it's like we've been eating the same thing for every meal for too long. Like, yeah, there's spices in this. But it's the same thing I've tasted the last five nights in a row. Yeah. I'm done with it. But of course, I still enjoyed it. <laughs> like, of course you did. I mean, it's pretty enough. Like, it, the, the art is, the is art's good. The art's not bad. Um, the, like it says in the summary, there's that cool fight scene thing near the end. That was cool. Like, the little the ghost guy comes out and you're like, what's going on? And then they don't tell you anything. And he's like jumping around and it's you know, flashy and there's stuff going on. It's like, okay, that's good. Things are happening. Keys are rattling in front of my eyes in manga form. And, you know, I also, I I think the, the focus on, because I think the main character is, um, uh, what did I say? Asakaze. Asakaze. Like, and he's like a, a public morals committee. He's interesting. Person. I've never he's seen like, a main character be this. Yeah, he's like, like a he should be super like. Straight there's so much and... about here that it's just like I should like this more. But both times, both when it originally came out and coming back for this, I just found myself bored and yeah, not wanting to continue. I... And I don't know if it's just some of the way. It could be the writing that just because maybe it's I don't know if it's the localization where it just it sounds so like esoteric talking. What's the word you keep using? The chi exposition. No. Hmm? The edgy teen word. Oh, Chinyobi? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's got that such of a that vibe was... to it, but that doesn't... It was in a way that it didn't seem like that's what it had to be. It just it was how it does, but I don't know if that's how it is in the original yeah. Japanese or not. But there's like there's a lot of times where the way they're t- they're talking and my eyes just sort of glaze over of just <laughs> like either edgy teen stuff, weirdly, or like, here's a bunch of keywords. Right. And, and that's and, what it came down to for me, because I... Like, I was interested in what was going on, and I liked, generally speaking, the flow. Like I said, I think it was 
the, the pacing was too fast, but like overall the events that were happening in the order that they were happening Float in, I was like, okay. For the most part. And they didn't go too far out of bounds of like trying to introduce wider things in the world. They sort of kept it to here's the basics. Here's the school. But at the same time, the thing that really took me out of it was that super edgy, like, we're going to take this seriously, even though this is a ridiculous thing, which is something that we've all moved past after we weren't 13 anymore, you know? Yeah, but and he's not even the, the main the main fighter guy isn't even that edge lordy. He's just got that like I've got a dark past. Like he's not full shadow the hedgehog, but like But it's it totally has that but it there's this notes, dark yeah. power inside me and I'm going to unleash it in order to save this woman. He's the nice boy edge lord. Yeah. He's Which, a new he's a new like, hybrid breed. I don't he's a fine character he's fine I, I thought like, all the that's characters the thing. It's were like, fine this is, it's weaker than it's some of it's parts but I don't know why it just yeah. doesn't work it's um I think it's a Jenga tower like there's substance there but there's too many holes and it's a bit wobbly yeah and like like I said I enjoyed reading it it could it find just, its feet it didn't grab me you yep. know so I wonder if this came at the start of all of the supernatural teen stuff and not at the end where we're just like I've got more than my fill of it, then we'd have different feelings about it. But Maybe, yeah. Yeah. That would make sense to me. Yep. So with our discussion out of the way, Brad, where do you think Shadow Eliminators will go next? You know, honestly, this is like, who knows at this point? Because I see hints of Bleach in here. I see bits of My Hero in here. Like, there's all like the pillar series. There's little parts of each of them in here which is like that goes back to my jenga tower thing it's like somebody built this out of pieces of other series to try and create this sort of like chimera series of what is popular yeah and it's like it's not it's not it's not fully baked yet like (laughs) you should have left it in the oven longer you shouldn't have baked us in the first place this this (laughs) friend is here and gone potentially um, I, I think some of me saying that is me willing it to reality that <laughs> they're done with this. So I like I think where it will go is the same place they all go, which is there's lots of little back and forth with like the low level whatever the heck is going on until we figure out the week that there's then, a big bad that's yeah. controlling the whole thing, yeah. and then that's going to be the thing, and then if it gets popular. They'll defeat that one, and maybe that they'll become one of their friends, and then they'll move on to another big bad. That's the way these all. They'll go, be a girl so. at some point. Oh, uh, she's already in the she's in the title oh. card. Yeah, you're right. So we'll probably meet her the next chapter or the chapter after that. Who knows? I'd be surprised if it if we didn't meet her in chapter two. Yeah, and she'll probably also be able to see the secrets because, like the. Uh, Asakaze can can see the the threads and demons for some reason, and we'll have to find out why that is. Can he see them just because of his strong sense of justice? Just because he passed through the door, <laughs> and now he's just got it. You know, when you get hit with it, it kind of unlocks it for you, like hockey. Oh, uh, maybe because it seemed like he didn't notice that the door was all blacked out when he walked through it. Yeah. So you might yeah. be right. Like going into the hollow unlocked his ability. The hollow. So maybe the same thing will happen to the girl accidentally. Who knows? But yeah, she'll be. She's probably his love interest. Who's though? There's two of them. The Asakaze, the the straight laced one. Interesting. Okay. Because uh, what a, you could Ku- do a love triangle and go, Kuro- which boy will she pick? Kuramori is probably going to be like, I can't. She'll she'll I probably can't. like yeah. him. Yeah, but can't. And, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why she'll tag along <laughs> for things. Who knows? Any number of generic, well done tropes <laughs> to show up here, or all of them. All of them at once. Then we've said where we think it's going. Uh, we're going to do our patented quick draw, pew, 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 and, and derive our verdict from this one chapter of a manga we've read. Yeah. Um, so. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Truxon left us with a little gift. Oh. He recorded oh. a special uh, rules of the range rules for us of the to range. use. So. so I don't have to live say what the ratings are anymore. Yeah. That's fantastic. I will throw it to you. Truck past trucks on who recorded this. Uh, tell us now the rules of the range. Hey everybody, it's me. It's Truck Sand, your friendly neighborhood Truck Sand. It's Truck Sand's rule of range. 
So we're at the bottom. We got Dead Walking, Dead in 20 Chapters or Less, an Early Grave, like Do Retry or Candy Flurry. Next up from that, we got A Flop, Granted a Stay of Execution, Under 50 Chapters, like a Fabricant 100 or a Dorondororon, whatever that is. Next up is It'll Live. Hangs on just past flop zone, sub 120 chapters like PPPPPP <laughs> or Maguchan. Then we got Solid, Sir that does well but hasn't reached its true popularity, like an Akane Banashe or Undead Unluck. Can get an anime. Then we got the hit, truly popular with an anime and hundreds of chapters, like a like a Black Clover or an Assassination Classroom. And finally, oh my gosh, the Supernova. Industry shaker and shaper. Readers want to be with them. Other manga want to be like them. Like a demon slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. And that's Truck Sans, Rules of the Range. Back to you. All right. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, Truck Sans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with that out of the way, Brad, do you, what's, your, what's your rating? <sighs> well, I'm worried that this is going to be a hit. It scares me. I like that we're like, we don't like it. It'll New Age Exorcist has us so nervous. I don't not like it, but I don't like it, <laughs> you know? So, like, I can see, I can see so a world. Teens, Japanese teens will love it. Yeah, I can see a future where this is the next Bleach. You it's know? not, though. I don't think it is, but they might. You're just basing that on the fact that New Age Exorcist, that we didn't like it, but at least with that one, I could see why, and here I just don't. I, what's the hook uh, all of them it's got all of them they they opened the tackle box and stuck every single that's not piece good. on the hook the everything burger doesn't make it a good burger it just makes it the everything burger i'm, I'm not saying it does but okay it, it it's popular mm. Mm. We'll so I'll, i'm gonna play it safe and say it'll live even though i'm scared that it'll be a hit certified flop I just, it's got. That's a cri- just what you want, though. It's got a no. It's <laughs> well, I'm, I'm speaking from like it's got. It's an, it's an afterbirth of a trend that's here and mostly out the window. Like we've seen other things in that vein die. New Age Exorcist is the outlier, but there is a cute girl in it that's very built, very self servingly, and I have no idea what's happening in that manga. So we only read the first one, but just both times I tried to read this, it wasn't just like this is garbage. It's just like I can't finish this chapter. There's, it's one chapter. I can read so much other things, and it just has this, like, don't read it feel <laughs> emitting from it. I don't know if it's just a Kermit-specific one, but just, like, I can't. I, Everything else, Mama Yu Yu, as much you. as we, you, you know that episode, you listen to it. I spat on Mama Yu's grave. You know what? I continue to read Mama Yu every week. I enjoy it. It's a part of my cycle. <laughs> this, I couldn't. I did not. It's Future Vision. A couple of chapters are out now. I, well, I guess we'll tell you at the end how many. I haven't. I've had zero interest of yeah. reading the rest of the chapters. Nobody has said anything that makes me want to read more. It's just got a. It's got a null field around it. See, I feel like you. You've you've mixed up your personal preference and your prediction. Sometimes it comes through. <laughs> personally, personally, moving to personal preference. Yeah. Since you did that. Yeah. Um, I I. This is one where it's like. I'm not particularly enamored with it. But it's interesting enough that I'll keep reading it. The trash, it's in the trash. No, it's not too no, deep in the I trash. wouldn't call this trash. Like, as someone who reads trash, no, this you is read not trashy trash. things. This is a problem when some bad became good, became bad. Some of it's actual trash. Okay. Um, this, this is this is something to go in the recycling bin. Yeah, actually, recycling bin's not too bad. No, I feel like that implies, that metaphor implies if it came back around in a different form, it could be better. No, it already came back around. Yeah, I guess it is. It's made out of recycled paper. This is made of recycled materials. There (laughs) we go. Put it back in the recycling bin, and it'll turn into something else in the future. So yours is a, much like your it'll live, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I hate it. But I'm going to keep reading it. Bland is worse than a train wreck for me. It admits the field of I can't, I just don't want to read it yeah. actively. And as we've, pro- I think we've discussed this already, but like in a medium like Shonen Jump where there's only so much space, something like this that doesn't really bring much to the table probably shouldn't be there. Yeah, old scraps. It is taking up room that something better could 
could be it. Yeah. yeah. I think we've set our position of reading or not. I've said I literally can't bring myself to read chapter two, and yours is on your infinite list that you will get to <laughs> one day. But we all know you won't. Don't there's, tell there's not, there's not too many chapters of this. I, I'll, I will probably read this before I catch up on two on ice. Here, here. How about how about this? At time of recording, there are right now four chapters out. Yeah. It's it's so much easier for me. Now's to... the time to get on if you want to get ready yeah. for the Shonen Flop episode on it because there will be one. Mark it's, my effing words. It's so much easier for me to read like two or three chapters and then just read one a week than it is to be like, okay, I've got fifteen chapters yeah. to catch up on. I'd rather read. I'm more interested of reading New Age Exorcist than reading this by a long shot. Now I'm gonna read that too. Yeah, I know. I'm I I might just to know what's going on with New Age Exorcist and why it's doing so well consistently when everybody's like it's not great. Well, I'll tell you what, Kermit. Since you didn't like this, yep. And I think it's all right. Yep. We're gonna have to duel. It's high noon. It's high, it's high noon. noon. A new bit. More. Ver- hey, you know how me? I was yelling the manga had too many keywords. Now we've got a lot of keywords, <laughs> but they're fun cowboy words that are very clear. Uh, so has has Brad has initiated high noon. Uh, if it's ever is in the other direction, I doubt it, but it'll be a very magical moment. Uh, if I have something that I hate it, and Brad is indifferent and or good with it, we have to have high noon where I have to say one good thing about the manga. And I have to say something bad. So, do which you wanna... is always going to be easier for me. Yep, yep. This is mostly <laughs> a thing to make put me on the spot to say something genuinely nice about it. Okay. So you want to go first? Yeah. Since it's easier for me, I'll I'll go first. Um, so let's see. Uh, well, I already said a bunch of bad things, so I got to come up with something new. Um, it really ticked me off how, uh. Kuramori's grandmother just looked like like a 30-year-old woman. Yeah. There's another. She's not actually the first spirit granny because Don to Don has a spirit granny, but she's she both kind of looks old, but also she is hot. What makes it worse is I first saw her like in the black and white panels, and I was like, huh, she doesn't look that old, even though they're calling her grandmother. And then I saw the colored version. And I was like, she looks even younger they in her, color. They gave her black hair. What do you no, she's like blonde. I Weird. was like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, there's your your negative thing. And I will say my positive thing for me is that the way they draw what Kuramori is the the spirit kid, right? Yeah. Um at least in one very particular shot, he's just Femi Androgynous enough to, <laughs> to push my button something fierce. Oh my gosh. What an NB dream boat at certain angles. Nice. Um, I didn't know just that little, the earrings and the little bit of the longer hair. There's just something about it that my, it just trips the switch between in my brain. And I'm like, oh, hmm, Hochi Mama. Something's going on here. Even though I don't think it's intentional at all, and nobody oh, else seemed to maybe, get that vibe. Maybe we'll get a little bit, a bit of BL then. What? Maybe we'll get some BL going. No. <laughs> I don't want that kind of BL. I just like that. <laughs> That's I just, my justice. I like that he looks a little femmy. That makes him look androgynous. <laughs> I, 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 it, it did a lot for me getting through the chapter the first time I read it. So there's my, there's my nice thing for this high noon duel. All right. Well, people need to go on our Discord and tell us which one of us won the duel. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to keep reading it, listener? You tell us. So with that, that is another episode of the way. That is Shadow Eliminators in the books. And if you want to play along at home, you can join us on the Shonen Flop Discord. I mean, obviously, go to our Discord, too. But the game takes place. The Shonen Flop Discords where I run the flop pools. So when a new manga drops in Shonen Jump, including this one, we did one for this one, you can go into the thread and just like Truck San told you on Rules of the Range, you can put in what your ranking is about if you think it'll live or not and how you feel about it newly added um, and take part in the game. Uh, you can, you know, be right and prove yourself for posterity that you always know what's up. Or we can all look like a bunch of idiots when it gets to 50 chapters when you spat on its grave right at the start. <laughs> and that's the joy of Shonen jumping the gun and the flop pool of being really wrong and dumb after after very little information. So... Come see with that. And with that out of the way, Brad, hit me with the plugs. As always, we want to thank Segoy Mart for partnering with us. They're a retailer of Japanese snacks, drinks, toys, and merch. And they got a lot of cool stuff you can't get outside Japan. 
You can click the link in the description or use code APR15 at checkout to get 15% off your first order, which also helps us out. And please let us know what you think about our podcast on social media, which you can find links for on our website, animepodcasterreincarnation.com. You can also leave comments about these episodes and also find other posts and reviews on our website. And as we said, join us on our Discord where you can chat with us. You can also check out our Patreon where supporters get perks like getting to vote on which series we cover on heroin addiction, as well as getting the high quality stereo version of this podcast early. And we'd love to hear what perks you'd like. And of course, we got to shout out our patrons. First off, at our reincarnator tier, we have Cake Dwarf and Moon. Next, at our merchant tier, we've got Kill Hour. And last but certainly not least, at our commoner tier, we've got Rena. Thanks so much. Well, thank you, Brad, and thank you once again, everybody, for listening. Make sure you listen to us on the Mainline Podcast, that time I got reincarnated in the same world as an anime podcaster. And, Brad, my shadow got norded. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Shonen Jumping the Gun. It is I, your... F it. I lost it. I really should write this down. I literally have a thing I could put it on directly in front of my eyeballs. Uh, we're Today we're talking about Shadow Eliminators, uh, which reminded me a lot when I was reading it, at least this first chapter, as we do on this podcast, where we read the first chapter of a manga. Oh, that's in the intro. Man, I'm not good for more than two episodes a day. <laughs> Cut all that. It's too late. It's too late, too. It's been a lot of my battery. You do enough of these, and then just it's like, oh, how do you do this? How do you podcast? How do you speak and be creative? And of course, we got to shout out our patrons, which is where I do it right now. Shout, shout, let it all out. These are the people we can't do without. Oh, we're talking to you. Come on. Also, I don't know what that means. Aqua oh, got norded. Haven't you ever heard, seen that video? Pro ZD had it out when it was like the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. And like everybody's like, what the fuck are you talking? He's like, Aqua oh, got norded. It's stupid Kingdom Hearts jargon. I don't even know what it means. Okay. But it makes me laugh because it's it's in the in the vein of Ore. It makes me giggle. <laughs>